What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the real dynamic island on older iPhones running iOS 16.5. Before we get started, it's important to know that this is a much more detailed process than the last tutorial and more can go wrong, so please be careful and pay attention. This method also works on iOS 16.0 through 16.5, and this does not work on iOS 17 yet. If you're on iOS 16.0 through 16.1.2, check the video in the cards or down below in the description to see how to enable a dynamic island on your device. I know that I said it already before, but please be careful and only do this if you're okay with having potential issues with your device. Everything should be fine, but just keep in mind that when you do something like this, you're messing around with things and you might have some potential issues. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Next, we want to sideload the app on our phone via Alt Store, and here's how to set Alt Store up. Obviously, you want to go ahead and download Alt Server for your computer, and then once it's installed, go ahead and open it up. On Alt Server 1.7 on Mac, you no longer have to enable the Alt Server Mail app plugin. You can plug your phone into your computer. Also, in Finder and on iTunes, make sure Show This iPhone When on Wi Fi is checked. And then from there, you can go over to Alt Server and where it says Install Alt Store, you're just going to press on your device then obviously enter in your Apple ID username and password. It's gonna go through, you might get this message, just go ahead and press continue and Alt Store will install on your device. If you're sideloading an app for the very first time, because we're on iOS 16, we now see this message indicating that developer mode is required. Alt Store requires developer mode to run, so we're gonna turn developer mode on, go into settings, go under privacy and security, and then scroll all the way down until you see developer mode. Go ahead and tap on that and tap on the switch to turn it on. It's gonna ask us to restart our device. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And now the device will restart. And now you'll see it says turn on developer mode. Developer mode allows you to use features that are required for app development. When developer mode is turned on, your device security will be reduced. Let's go ahead and turn it on. It's going to ask for our passcode. And then from there on your device, go to settings, general, VPN and device management, and under developer app, tap on your Apple ID, tap on trust, and then tap on trust again. And then once we do that, we can successfully open alt store. And now we're going to go ahead and open it. It's going to ask us if we want notifications and if we want to connect to the network, just go ahead and press OK on both. Now we're going to have to sign in with our Apple ID. Next, you want to go to the link down below in the description and download the .ipa file for whatever application that we're sideloading. In this instance, it's going to be the simple KFD app. We're going to just go ahead and download that. And once that downloads, we can go ahead and open that in Alt Store. And as long as you're connected to Alt Store and Alt Server on your computer, this should just go through and start signing the application. Here it is it's now sideloaded on our device so from here we want to open the simple kfd app and find the set subtype option this is the feature that's going to enable the dynamic island it's really important to note that based on what you select you might actually have some really weird resolution issues so it's very important to be very careful when changing your device's resolution or else something like that could happen so the dynamic island is now enabled, but we have this weird red bar issue. In order to fix that, select the right resolutions for your device. For the iPhone 11, 828 by 1770 is good. Your results may vary, just play around with it a little bit, but also be very careful and make sure you know what you're doing. And there you go. The red bar issue is now fixed and you can see here is the dynamic island in all its glory on my iPhone 11. It looks a little bit off, looks a little bit strange, but that is just to do with obviously the size of the device and the dynamic island is not meant to run on older devices. You're doing something that Apple was never intending you to do. So just keep that in mind because this was never meant to actually run on these devices. So it does look a little bit off. So just like the regular dynamic island, here are the features. The phone call interface looks very nice and it looks exactly how you'd expect. Phone calls in the dynamic island on newer devices look great, and they look great here on older devices as well. The dynamic island will also show when you're recording your screen on your device. There's airdrop, so it shows when you're airdropping something. There's maps, so you can see GPS navigations directly on the dynamic island. There's music as well, so you can play, pause, and go backwards and forwards in your now playing interface. 
This is probably one of the highlighted features of the Dynamic Island, and honestly, I think it still does look pretty cool on the iPhone 11. And the Dynamic Island can do even more. So you try the Dynamic Island on your phone, and maybe it's not something you want to keep long term. All you have to do to disable it and remove it is just go back into the settings and turn on the auto subtype, then tap on the apply tweaks and respring button, and hopefully it'll work. If when the device restarts, you keep seeing the Dynamic Island, just keep going through this process. I know personally myself, I had to do this a couple of times to disable it. So if for whatever reason it's not disabling the first time that you try to go through this and do it, just keep doing it and eventually it might start to get annoying, but it will disable. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. That's how to get the Dynamic Island on older devices on iOS 16.5. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone again so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.